May Christ be with you. And also with you. A reading from the good news according to the book of Luke. Glory to you, O Christ. When the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go straight to Bethlehem and see this event that God has made known to us. They hurried and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. Once they saw this, they reported what they had been told concerning the child. All who heard about it were astonished at the report given by the shepherds. Many tre Mary treasured all these things and reflected on them in her heart. And the shepherds went away glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as they had been told. This is the gospel of our Christ. Praise to you, O Christ. Tidings of comfort and joy. Today we have the very human stories. Isaiah 62. They'll be called the holy people the redeemed of our God, the city that is not forsaken. Psalm 97. O God, you reign, let the earth rejoice, let the many coastlands be glad. The heavens proclaim your righteousness and all the peoples behold your glory. Light dawns for the joy, righteous, joy for the upright in heart. Rejoice in our God, O your righteousness, and give thanks to God's holy name. And then Hebrews is real talk about trying to read the prophets. In times past, God spoke in fragmentary and varied ways to our ancestors through the prophets. And now, and it's the whole point of Christmas. God spoke to us through the only begotten, who both has been made heir of all things, and through whom the universe was first created. It's that whole God outside of time thing. Christ was there from the beginning but is now born as a human as well. We're then told several other ways to think of Christ showing God forth in our world and lives, mainly making very clear that he's not just another angelic visitation. Goes into, well, which of the angels did I say these things to? No, this isn't an angel. This is me. This is God. True God becoming true human Cutting no corners, no intermediaries. Last night, Luke told us of the Annunciation. This morning is about the human what next. The angels returned to heavens. The shepherd said to another, let's go right to Bethlehem and see. They hurried. They found Mary and Joseph. They found the baby lying in the manger. Once they saw this, they reported what had been told them concerning the child. All who heard it were astonished at the report. Mary treasured all these things and reflected on them in her heart. The shepherds went away glorifying and praising God, telling everybody about it. So the shepherds are really the key of this gospel. They recovered from their shock reconnoitered the reality of what they've been told, reported the wonder they'd seen and heard and now found to be true and went forth rejoicing in all their humanness, in all their low-classness. This wasn't the case. This was folks like us. So my challenge to you today is rise up shepherds and follow.